today I want to encourage from the Word of God one of the scripture which I love so much especially this scripture I read a lot every time I travel I read the scripture and that is from the book of Psalms 121 this one of the scripture which really encouraging me 2018 when my father died on the month of June uh, it was a you know darkness it's like now the world is dark because of COVID-19 it's worse than this in my whole family We've been around, and then there was a time come after my father buried and be with the family. My brothers and sisters, the family start traveling, go back to their own places. And I also has to go back to Denmark. And there was a time my mother called all my family members, my brother, sisters, everyone surrounding and then she encouraged us she prayed for us and then she read book of psalms 121 and encourage us and that word every time i travel every time i'm going in and out encouraging me and that word in the season of covid 19 encouraging me and I read almost every day to strengthen me and this day end of the month of May of 2020 it just remind me to read to us and encouraging you so turn with me the book of Psalms chapter 121 and read together I read in English, you can read whatever you feel comfortable. God, the help of those who seek Him. Those who seek Him, God will help. The Word of God says like this, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow you to foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not stum slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shed at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve you going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. This is the scripture I want to encourage you that the Lord will help when we seek him, when we need help. He is the Lord who make heaven and earth. And he is the word that so he will keep watching over us going and coming. Not only today, now 
and forevermore throughout our life. So this is the scripture. I just want to encourage you in this season that we focus in the scripture because that's the truth of the word of God encouraging us. And that's what I just want to encourage in this season, passing on this book of Psalms, chapter 1, 121. Trusting in God. And why I say trusting in God? Because when we trust God, as the scripture said, He will bless, He will keep watching over, you going, you coming. That means He will protect you, He will provide you, because He is the one who created heaven and earth. He has all authority. So it's also important in this season of our life trusting in God's providential care the scriptures say where you know my help come from verse 2 my help come from the Lord so in this book of Psalms leads us upward to God in our own personal life Daily walk with the Lord. Not backward, but this scripture leads us forward in our daily life with the Lord. Our hearts, our journey, our life. This is only eight verse. Try to read and meditate and it will help us. We all need help at times in life and as the scripture clear, clearly telling us today where do you you know where do we get help my help come from the Lord or maker of heaven and earth who keep watching going and coming he will preserve us I want to ask you a question, you know, when you need, where do you go when you need help? Of course, children go to the parents when they need help. When we have an economy problem, many people go to the bank and ask for help. Many ways. When you need help for your sickness, you should go to the doctor and ask for help. All these many ways we go and ask for help. But beyond that in this scripture clearly says that God helps those who seek his help. None of us are safe until we take refuge in God. When we travel, we trust God, pray God. When we fly, we pray God. When COVID-19 come, we pray God for his protection. And I'm sure he will protect you and me in this season. That's why we need help, protection from the Lord. If you have a sick, you need help, you go to the doctor and ask. And then he will give a prescription. He will give medicine. But I'm not sure all will work. Sometimes it doesn't work. Maybe you go to the bank, you ask to borrow money. Sometimes it doesn't work. Maybe they refuse. Maybe you ask some help, some of your friends. Not every time your friend can help you. Not every time your parents can help you and provide all your needs. But there is one, our Heavenly Father. We can always go and ask when we need help. You can ask God, you can pray God, you can trust Him, and I'm sure He will 
come and help you. But as I re- encouraging you that our job is to trust in God. Do you need help? Yes, we all need help. This is a very good important scripture book of Psalms 121. It teach us that we need God and our God will help you and our God will take care of you. The creator, the heavenly father is your helper. The family surrounding will lead you down cannot help you but remember in that moment our heavenly father the creator have heaven in earth our creator it's clearly say he will help you he will take care our god heavenly father is your protector you go everywhere finally when you no way no hope god come to that he will protect you he will help you also he will The Lord will keep you from all harm. So let's look to the Lord, focus on him, and he will do a mighty things. So in this season, I just want to encourage you that it's not a normal season. So I want to encourage you that we focus in this scripture, Psalms 1, chapter 121, our heavenly Father. Creator and maker. of heaven and earth. So let us learn ourselves to put our trust in God's providence and care for our lives. The Creator is your helper. Who is the Creator? Our Heavenly Father who created the heaven and earth. Verse 1 and 2. So remember that our creator is you our helper the scripture say i lift up my eyes to the hills where does my help come from my help come from the lord the maker of heaven and earth these are the beautiful verses of scripture that have brought much comfort to God's people over the years. It's comfort us in the season. Now the month of May is ending in two days, coming days, it's new month. Come on, let us ask the Lord to help us, comfort us and provide us and bless us in coming new months. Look beyond the mountain to the gods who created them. You look to the mountain, you know. I know maybe some of you never be coming from a mountain. I'm coming from a mountain site. It's so beautiful to look the view. Beyond the view of the mountain, look into heaven, the beautiful sky above. Beautiful creation of God. Lead us turn our face to the Lord encourage the scripture encourage us to look beyond the mountain to the God who created the whole universe you go to the mountain you go top of the uh, building and look the view look to the heaven and remember or look to the sky and to the heaven and say remember This is our great creator, the God, Heavenly Father. And He is the one who is going to provide you and me, who is going to bless, who is going to strengthen. When we think about, I look to the, you know, hills, the mountain. You know, mountains are symbols of strength and also stability. So these are a great size in a long lasting and unchanging. The creator reflect 
in our life. The creation, the beautiful creation of God reflect the Creator. Who is the Creator? Our Heavenly Father, our God. And remember in that season, so God who made mountains and even Creator in power and strength. When we look the hills, it's a, you know, it's not a backward direction, it's a forward, upward direction. So in this coming season, new month is coming, you know, or next is coming, new week is coming. Remember, let us not backward, but like let us look up to the hills, look forward. And allow the power of God work deeper in our life. Don't go backward. Don't turn back, but focus. Don't lose your focus on God. Don't lose your focus, positive thinking in your life. The Lord will give His power, His strength when we not lost focus and move on and move forward. Our focus should be our Heavenly Father. Our problem, our troubles, when we focus, we go down, we go backward, backward. But when we look up and focus on God, and leave it our problem to God, our trouble to God, we will go forward, we will go forward because we know that He is the creator, provider, helper. He has a power of heaven and earth. He has a power of reading my life for your life. So remember in the scripture, also book of Psalms chapter 46, verse one also tell us, God is our refuge and strength and, and every present help in trouble. God is our refuge and strength and He is there to help when we are in trouble. Also, Psalms chapter 46, you know, like when we read that, that is amazing, right? Also, when we read the word of God, say, before the mountains were born or you brought forth the earth in the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Psalms 90 verse 2, read it. God is bigger than the mountain. God is before the mountains. So we lock the mountain, but God is, you know, bigger than that. He's bigger than, as I told before, COVID-19. He's, he, he is powerful. So let us open our eyes. Instead of focus in our problem eyes, focus on Heavenly Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. And He will provide us, bless us in the time of trouble, in the needs of our daily life. So don't look down from the hills <laughs> but look up to the hills. Don't look down your problem, but look up to Jesus and pray to Him, and He will make a way. Our help comes from the Maker of heaven and earth. That's what we have read it in this chapter. That's where does my help come from. My help come from the Lord, 
the maker of heaven and earth. Psalms chapter 121 verse 2. And we are so blessed to know our Lord and understand. So my dear brothers and sisters, today I want to tell you, you help, you help comes from the maker of heaven and earth. And that is our Heavenly Father. He made everything beautiful. He created us in His likeness. And He wants to provide and bless. So, in this season, every thoughts, every worry, every burden, every negativity in this weekend flash out by the blood of Christ. And then move on. Let us, let us, you know, ask to the Lord to bless us and strain us, and He will make a way. Our source, who is, you know, our source, our needs. What is the source of your life? The word, the word of God says. It tells us, like, tell us it is the maker of heaven and earth. And that is the first truth we need to learn from this book of Psalms. The Creator is your helper. That's what we need to understand. Where my source come from? Yeah. Work, whatever. But where? It, where my strength come from? It's from the Lord. And that is our Creator. So it's very important to understand who is your Creator. Understand that our Heavenly Father. Understand His power, His authority in this season. It's a, it's a day, you know, like where our Heavenly Father went to heaven, Jesus Christ, sending His power. And when you ask, He will give. He will bless. The God of Israel is your protector. Our Heavenly Father is our protector. Verse 6, or 3 and 6, you read it. The God of Israel is your protector. Look at in that verse. It says, He will not lead you foot sleep. He who watch over you will not stumble. He who watch over you, you know, over Israel, will neither stumble nor sleep. Neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watch over you. The Lord is your shade of your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. This scripture, this verse 6 in to 6, no, sorry. Psalms chapter 121, verse 3 to 6. It it's teach us God is not only the creator of the world, but protector of Israel. And He is your protector as well. Our Heavenly Father is not only the creator of the universe, this, but He's a creator, the heaven and earth. And he is our protector. He protect us. But we need to go to his presence. Surrender our life. It's important the name of God to understand and make a covenant, you know, make a covenant, make a covenant relationship, make a relationship, commitment to the Lord. We, the children of God, this is a season we need to have built our relationship with the Lord. We need to make covenant with the Lord and trust God's faithfulness in you in Christ. God watches over you. 
He cares over you. And it's important we understand a word watches. Watch. He watch over you. It's not simple. It's not ordinary words. It's a powerful word. He watch over you. He guarding, you know, protecting. So in this season, let us focus to the Heavenly Father and pray to God. Tell to Him all your problems, all your trouble, all your needs. He's watching over you, who protecting you. He's going to provide you. He never stumbles, nor sleeps. I like that. He never slumbers, nor sleeps. We are sleeping, we wake up. But verse 3, 4, you know, He who watch over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watch over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. God never slumbers nor sleep 24 hours our Heavenly Father watching us protecting us blessing us is not wonderful right now he's there for you right now he's watching over you be strong in the Lord be alert in the Lord move forward in the Lord don't allow darkness in your life lead it out your darkness your problem your trouble to our heavenly father because he is watching over you and me so in this season I just want to encourage you that the Lord he is with you our heavenly father he is close beside you our god protect you from every trials and temptation every accidents our god protect you from accidents god never slumbers nor sleeps he is close beside you the Lord watch over you. The Lord is your shed at your right hand. Verse 5. The hill may be a far away in the distance, but God is there. He is close beside you. You could travel away, far away from different parts of the world. Or the, maybe you are in the wilderness, you are in the sea, you are nowhere to go. You feel your situation is nowhere. But remember, in there, in the midst of your trouble, in the midst of your situ situation, in the midst of your struggle, remember, God is there. He's there right now. He he's meets a few he's standing near you just turn to him speak to him the Lord is your right hand that means God is accompanies every steps of your life he is close beside you every step every prayer he is with you our Heavenly Father protect you it all the time he protect you from accident I, as I told you he is never slumber no sleeps he is close beside you he protect you all the time yeah so even the word of God said this the Sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night That means wherever you go, every situation, he will not harm you. He will, he will protect you. He will bless you when you go closer to him. When you trust him. The Lord will keep you 
from all harm. The Creator, the Heavenly Father, is your helper, protector. I repeat again. So finally, I just want to encourage you. The Lord will keep you from every harm, every darkness. And the Lord will watch over you. The Lord will watch over you. You going out, you coming in. The Lord will watching you. You sleeping, you wake up, you eat, you work. Every step. Not only today, now and forevermore throughout your life. He watch over every step of your life. God watch over me. Yeah. God watches over every aspect of my life. Of your life. Our daily pray should be Lord I pray that you protect my family. You protect from evil. You protect from danger. You protect from harm. You protect from sickness. You protect from COVID-19. You protect from accident. Darkness world. We have to pray. It's very important. Prayer is the key of our life. Romans chapter 8 it says and we know that in all things God works for good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose chapter 8 verse 28 and also verse 31 what he says when then shall we say is respond to this if God is for us who can be against us? If God is with us, who can be against us? Verse 38 also says, No, in all these things we are more than a conqueror through him who loves him. Read Romans chapter 8 from verse 30, 28 to 39. Because here it's encouraging us. Yeah. Nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ of our Lord. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. It's a powerful season. After Jesus rose and died, resurrection, be in this world, ascend to heaven, and this weekend, sending his power of Holy Spirit because he loved us forever and ever. So in this weekend, pray, allow God's power, Holy Spirit. Because in our trouble, in our needs, in the middle of nowhere, the Word of God said, our Heavenly Father will be beside you. It you right in, lead you, guide you, protect you, provide you. Our Lord, watch over every transaction in our life every changes every moment every season every transaction period he is with us that's why in verse 8 some chapter in 121 verse 8 it clearly says god watch over every yeah, transaction in your life why i said the lord will watch over you coming and going coming and going that means our Lord will watch over every transaction in your life every changes every movement every situation in your life it's not like a weather you know in Denmark we used to say I Danish weather we never know when it's rain when it's snow when it's wind when it's sunshine 
But right now we talk about our personal life, every transaction, every season. He is watching over your life. And it's so blessed when we understand our God and ask and move on every step. He will bless us. He will guide us. He will strain us. But if you don't understand that, one day it will be too late. Because our Heavenly Father, He will watch over us both now and forevermore. He watch over coming and going. He watch over both now, right now. But it's not in. And forevermore till the end of your life. It's a wonderful promises of God, especially verse 8. The Lord will watch over you coming and going. So in this scripture, I just want to encourage you that let us understand the maker of heaven and earth and our heavenly father that he will protect us he will bless us and god bless you and let us understand amen